Hey everybody, welcome back. Ruben with Texas All Water Fishing. And today I am shooting this intro on my phone, getting my gear together, getting ready to head out and meet up with my buddy Cody Dunn. We are taking his boat out and we're going to look and hunt for some of our little flatty friends. Yes, those flounders. We are just right at the tip of the flounder run. So wish me luck. I'm going to head straight out there. Hopefully there'll be a lot of action. I'm hoping that we will find them. Not really too sure what to expect. I'm going to arm myself with gope. Be throwing a lot of gope today. I'm going to try Cody Dunn's rig, his getter done rig, as he calls it. It works great for him. And give it a shot today and see if I can have the same kind of luck that he has. So, wish me luck. Keep your fingers crossed. Thanks for coming back. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share. And hopefully you catch me hooking up. Reason for lopping. Come on. You didn't have time to fight. He's still green. Come on, forget it. <laughs> oh, Kodias. That's what we're looking for, fellers. Cody with another great fish on here. Let me tell you, this guy's hand is hot. We have been here for maybe about an hour, and Cody is on his fourth or fish flounder right here. Now, he's claiming that it's about 15 inches, but I'm looking at this thing, and I'm thinking, man, this thing is easy, an easy 17-inch. Beating up a boat a little bit. That getter done rig. He has a chatter weight on it, as well as a... Cope swim mullet. A nice looking fish right there. Now I'm calling 17 inches. Cody's saying it's 16 and a half. We're gonna put it on the board. Take a look at it. Come on, Cody. Come on, Cody. Get it together. Put it on here. Let's take a look. And it is 16 and a half inches. I have no idea how he pulled that off. Oh, there it is. Yeah. Oh, that's, cool. that's a nice one. That's a good one. Beautiful. Bring it in. Yeah, I think that's that little. That feels better, doesn't it? It does feel better. <laughs> nice, good looking guy right there. Flounder hot zone right here. Fishing gets these walls, these bulkheads. Gotta watch out, watch out for that oyster. Some of the debris you will get hung up. Long cast against the wall. Bam! Got me a little flatty. Feels good. Gonna do a little boat flip, get this guy in the boat. Nice little baby on that white swim mullet from Goat. I feel that rod loading up. I know it's there. Gotta set that hook and pop it hard. Boom! Got him. Feels a little bigger, a little better. Gonna reel this bad boy in. It's fishing along the wall here. Flounders do come and go. They come in little waves. Got my number one net guy on the job. Let me get this flounder turned around. See if we can get him in that net. Got him. Four. Fifteen three quarters. Mouth closed. Mouth closed. Barely touching fifteen three quarters. New spot. Cody said he has one on, loaded up, ready to set that hook. This guy is just on fire. Feels like a good one. We're casting off into a drop. See if we can get some flounder. Cody, first cast over here. Actually, no, this is his second cast. He had two casts, two fish. You can see right here, this is where a dolphin bit the flounder. Markings on both sides. Pretty cool stuff to see. 
put him on the board. He's going to be good for just squeaked out 15 and a quarter inches. Come on, Cody. Get it together. I feel him loading up. Thump, thump, thump. Yep. Fish on. Fish on, fish on. Off the drop. First cast, off the drop. Net man for the rescue. Beautiful flounder. And a keeper. Heck yeah. Got him on the board. What's it going to be? What's it going to be? Yep, 16 inches. Cody again, loading up. We got a stud on this line. Net real fast. Oh, yeah, there it goes. Man, that's such a nice looking flounder. Strong and big. This thing had some nice curves on it. Very thick flounder. That get her done rig, putting in some work. Gulp swim mullet. Not too sure what color he caught this one on, but it was definitely a great fish. Got a measure, huh? He's a fat daddy. He's a fat daddy. Where's he gonna be at? Mm, What's 20 and a half? Oh, it's 20 and a half. I was stuck and look. <laughs> I was stuck. I was. I was smacking, smacking on as hard as I could. <clears throat> yeah, I got bitten by one too. I don't think there's. I don't. I don't think I've ever caught a fish species that hasn't bitten me beside a shark <laughs> all right so that's gonna wrap it up for us today I had a great time out there with the guys between three of us i think we caught just a little under 20 flounder the largest flounder of the boat went to cody cody dunn ended up with a nice 20 and a half inch flounder that thing was really thick so i know there's gonna come some some great fillets some great eating is gonna come out of that fish my largest one was 18 inches just a little over 18 i ended up with three for the day I think we caught uh, six to seven, maybe, flounder between the three of us. Not really too sure what that final count was, but we just had a great time out there. It's always fun when you get out there and you're fishing with your buddies. Now, what we primarily did and what we primarily looked for was some of those flounder hot zones. You know, fishing against the walls, those bulkheads, finding some structure underneath the surface of the water, any kind of oyster reef, post, pylon, just around docks area we were just hunting and hunting and we hit a handful of different spots and different locations out there around the Gaussian area now primarily what we all were throwing and having our luck on was gope i went through a lot of gope you go through a lot of tackle when you are fishing for a flounder i got stuck on the bulkheads on the rocks and the oysters and you just break off a lot and that's just part of it that's part of fishing for flounder if you're not getting hung up and you're not snagging some of the ground then you're not doing it right you're not fishing the right way now i was lucky enough to be taught cody's done get her done rig i used it throughout the day it was my first time that i really really try to fish with it and that's what all my fish were caught on now like i said the numbers weren't there as far as the size but we are still early in the flounder season so going forward as the flounder season progresses i know i'm going to be using that rig quite a lot and i'll show you in an upcoming video that i have coming out i'm going to show you how we tie that get her done rig or rather how cody showed me how to tie it and i'll show you how 
I like to tie those tandem rigs as well. I threw a tandem a little bit a few times, had a few bumps, caught a, a lot of ribbon fish. Actually, we caught a lot of ribbon fish, so that's great for the guys. They like to use it for their offshore bait. So we were able to put some stockpiles of bait in the freezer for those guys as well. Going forward this week, you know, we have a cold front that is happening right now today, and the weather's going to drop. The, the temperature is going to drop, rather, and the weather is going to get a little cooler. So I'm hoping that's going to push a lot of those flounder out of the bays out of the bayous and into the channels so we can be able to catch them hopefully that's going to trigger the flounder bite just a little bit i am keeping my eye on the weather because we also have a hurricane that's out there and what i'm afraid that's going to do is push a lot of the tide and so it might keep the bait in those back areas in those marshy areas a little longer so it's going to be really tricky this week fishing but i have a few i have a couple days that i'm going to fish this week so hopefully y'all be able to see me hook up to some more flounder for all you guys. But thanks. Thanks for watching. Thanks for coming back. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Till next time, hopefully you catch me hooking up. Thanks.